Round three, yep. Is it a different yep. feeling from the previous two for you? Oh, I don't know. It seems so, so long ago, but, um, you know, at least uh, this time we just got one trip back east instead of having to come back, get uh, quickly ready, then go back out again. At least this time we, uh, it's just the one trip, but even then it still is pretty rushed. Yeah, now the advantage of uh, being home for a super, but how much can that help you just having this last weekend being here and not having to do the run around? Well, I think it's helped a lot. Um, definitely with the preparation for the ladies with school and um, takes a little bit of the stress and pressure off. Uh, that's for sure, you know. Um, so, you know, I don't, you know, we don't know until it happens, but uh, I would say right now it's a good thing. What's been sort of the talk all year, but especially now leading into the Super Regional, third time, or going back, back again, but getting past this point this year? Uh, yeah, well, you know, hopefully we've got, um, you know, the, the first time we went out there, our, our four uh, players were freshmen, you know, Jess Moore, Kaylin Howard, um, you know, um, uh, Sam Pappas, and uh, gosh, I drew a blank on the other one, so <laughs> Ali Burger. Ali Burger, you know, they're, they're all now in their third year out here, so hopefully their experience can help rub off on some of the other players, and same with the Chambers twins, and, um, you know, and then. Uh, you know, uh, Christian Yeto has been out here for a second year now, so hopefully got the experience to go out there and make a difference. And uh, I think the times we've been here before have been a little bit um, trepidatious, so to speak, sit back a little bit. Um, and this time we need to go out and make sure we attack and take the game to them. Momentum-wise, do you feel like your team is playing as best as they possibly can right now? Um, I'm still waiting for us to play our best game. Uh, it seems like we're getting good pitching and they're not so good at hitting and uh, vice versa. And uh, I think our best game still awaits us. We've, we've shown some great games, you know, like against Cal um, and several others. But, um, you know, we, for, for us to put it together in two games out of three this weekend would be great. And I think we're still ahead of us to have our best game. Series like this, the pitching is so vital for Jess to be on her game and for you guys to get to, to Blair early. Uh, just yeah. talk about just the, 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 the way that Jess has really i not really matured for you guys. They've just been so rock solid for you in this run. Yeah, we had a turning point there. I think it was the Cal weekend where we sh the first weekend she came out and got beat 10 nothing. And you know, she's always showing grim glimpses of brilliance, you know, um, out there. And I think after we had a long talk that night about that game, and she came back out and made some adjustments. And I think she's bought into some things since that time. And she's been a little bit rocky here and there, but nowhere near as um, you know off and on as what she was. And uh, much more around the strike zone, uh, fewer walks and things. And, and we can see that when she gets in trouble, it's when she walks people. Um, and I think she's buying into that fact. And it's not because she doesn't want to. It's just that sometimes she does loses focus. So um, I think the big thing for Jess is to get off to a really good start, allow us time to get um, used to facing Luna, their pitcher, and to score some runs for her. And I think we'll be fine. From what we can tell, Texas seems like a resilient team to come back and win the four in the last two days there. Uh, what do you know about them? Well, I know they have an excellent pitcher. She was um, on the short list for the U.S. national team. Um, she moves the ball around extremely well. Uh, they have power throughout their lineup. They're not a real fast team uh, as, as far as slapping. But they do steal a lot of bases. They've stolen well over 80 bases. So they're going to run if they get the opportunity. We know that. And even though they've got bigger kids, they're pretty fast. Um, you know, for us, we've got to be patient at the plate. Um, Blair Luna is going to try and get us to chase and chase and chase and chase some more. And um, I think Sunday, that sh the Saturday, that showed up a little bit for us against BYU. We weren't too patient on the changeup. And so we need to talk, talk about that this week, um, work on it really hard in practice, and then see if we can come out and execute our game plan like we're going to plan to. I know you said your best game is still ahead of you, think. Is there one thing in particular that you guys didn't do well over this past weekend that would prevent you from winning this weekend? Well, I think we didn't hit with consistency. Uh, we certainly had our runs and bunches. Um, it's not like we scored throughout the game. Uh, you know, we had a six-run inning, we had a five-run inning, and a, and a four-run inning, I think. And that was pretty much the extent of our scoring for the weekend. And i like to see us be a lot more uh, consistent than that. And, and we had runners on base, but we just didn't drive them in. And so we've got to have people step up. And what hurt us a little bit was, you know, Kelsey and uh, Kylie didn't quite have the same kind of weekend we were expecting of them. And that's going to happen. And, and I've said that before, that's where we've been a bit lucky where some of the other people step up. Like in this case, it was um, yeah, Kristen Yeto stepped up with a big hit and um, you know, Alexa Peterson and Janie Decatur had a good weekend and so does Sam Pappas. So uh, we're waiting for the different hero to step up, but hopefully we get all our heroes firing this weekend and we have a good solid uh, weekend with the, with the bat. How much did it help his team last week to play at home in the regional? Oh, tremendously so. I mean, not having to worry about going packing and, uh, you know, the stress of getting tutors and, and the stuff with professors and all those sorts of things. Um, it makes a big difference for us to be a little stress-free. How about the actual venue? How do you think? Having you know, bleachers out in the field and all like, the press combinations? 
Well, it was fantastic to see a stadium, and uh, I think that um, it made the girls feel a little more, like, a little more proud of what we have out here instead of uh, you know being a sort of ashamed of what's going on as far as our, our stadium. You know, half of them they can't see, so it was good to see a thousand people out here, and they can all see the game. And um, you know, without the help from the university and getting those bleachers out there, that wouldn't have happened. Shooting platform was nice too. <laughs> it was good. <laughs>